play your Steam games with this brand new project, Pluvia. Hello everyone, today we're going to check out this brand new project, which looks very promising. And I will guide you how to set this up for the first time, discuss some infos about this brand new project, and test some games. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit that like button. Alright, this project is more like a Steam client for Android, where you can download and play games and sync your saves. But this is not literally a brand new emulator since it uses WinLater as its core for running games. But man, I've been waiting for a project like this where Steam is properly and seamlessly integrated with WinLater so that I don't have to worry with cloud saves anymore. Though not yet perfect, I am still very excited how this project will shape up in the future. Now let's set this thing up. Just download and install the APK I provided in the link below and fire it up. Right off the bat, you'll be required to log in your Steam account. So just log it in. Just make sure you have games on it. You might have issues signing in, so if it does, just sign in with your QR code. Now you can see your Steam library inside the app. From here, you can now install games. So that's basically it for setting this up for the first time. I tested two games, Dincom and Hollow Knight. Well, performance is somewhat what I expected since this basically runs with Win later as its score. So Dincom get frequent crashes, but Hollow Knight seems to be playable. By the way, this runs in later version 7. I'm not really sure if it's Pirot or Glibc. Just let me know down in the comments below. But based on testing with Hollow Knight's performance, it is comparable with WinLater 7 Glibc running at back 64 preset set to stability. The video played in the background is Hollow Knight played in Pluvia. I also tested out if the cloud save really works and I was surprised that everything works just fine. So yeah, this is pretty cool, right? But just a reminder that this has a lot of limitations. First is you can only play non-DRM games, so don't expect every games in your library to be playable. Also for now, you can configure when later settings inside the app. You cannot change GPU drivers, disk wrappers, wine versions, and back 64 preset. So if a game won't run or the performance sucks, well, you can't do anything about it. You can't specify any storage locations for the games you installed. And the only way to get games is by downloading it online. You can only play games by using a controller or mouse and keyboard. Touch controls is not yet supported as of the moment. And of course, since this uses win later, not all chipsets are supported. Alright, to wrap things up, I am very much excited about the future of this project. I hope more developers will contribute to this one, and maybe some collaborations with other forks, maybe caffeine colors. Well, who knows? Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this new project. And again, please do like the video, subscribe if you're new, and see you in the next one.